everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Katie. And today is my first annual 12 days of Bible journaling. So it's going to be just 12 days. I'm going to have a video every single day from today to Christmas Day, all the way through Christmas Day. So there's going to be one on Christmas Day as well. But it's just going to be fun. It's going to be a whole bunch of easy tutorials that you can do in your Bibles, in your journals, wherever you want to journal with the Lord. That's what we're going to do. So today is, of course, day one of the 12 days of Bible journaling. So today is going to be a favorite photo. So that is day one. So one is going to be one favorite photo. So had a hard time deciding. I only had a few photos on hand at the moment. Most of mine are on my computer right now, but I do have two of my absolute favorites. I couldn't decide, but this one kind of feels more just with the color scheme with the blues and the browns. It kind of made me feel very Christmassy and very winter feeling. So we're going to be using this one today and we're going to be journaling in Romans 15:13. And what I liked about this is it mentions peace. And when I think of peace, the first animal that usually comes to mind is a bird. So that's why I chose this one. So let's go ahead and say a quick prayer before we get started. And I'll share with you what I'll be using today. So, dear Lord, thank you for um, showing me this idea for the 12 days of Bible journaling and helping my mom and I come up with the idea for this channel. And I just pray that you will help us to learn something new every day for the next two weeks, something new that you want us to learn. And I just pray that you will guide us in our journaling and help us to just grow in our faith with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so as I said, Romans 15, 13, and it says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I love that verse. I'm not going to use this whole picture. I'm actually going to cut it out. So I'll be right back as soon as I'm done finished cutting this picture out. Okay, so I have my bird cut out here. I think I'm going to put him in the corner right in this spot. And before I glue down though, I'm going to use some of my Distress Ink, which I only have like three colors. So you're probably going to see a few of the same colors this past year, but Hopefully, we'll have some new ones after Christmas. So, I'm using the color Walnut Stain for this one. And I like the smaller pads because you can just hide those pads in there and you can keep them stored in there. It keeps it really easy and really quickly so you can just grab and go. So, let's go ahead and fill this brush up. I'm not the world's greatest with these. I'm still practicing, still learning, but <laughs> I don't know if it's the pads I'm using. Like... I did them wrong in the first place and they just didn't turn out right, but I'm learning, I'm trying as I go, and we will learn mistakes and stuff and we'll just keep going. We'll just we'll learn as we go together. I may honestly be a righty with this maybe, maybe, maybe not, but I probably didn't load it right when I did it the first time. That's probably the problem that I am experiencing right now. I just didn't load it right when I first got this. That's okay. I just wanted some pretty color around the bird and underneath him just so he's not sitting on like some white paper. That way we can have some pretty color background for him. And I think that's going to look really nice. So we need to do some more color a little bit higher and then we'll be ready to set down the bird. And if you wanted to do it, you could do this with colored pencils. You could use um, whatever you wanted to. If you're doing it in a journal, you could do it with markers. You can do whatever you wanted to do as your background for your picture. But I just really wanted just a little bit of a touch of color to go underneath him. And we're gonna be layering other stuff as well, but at least to have some color going on in the background. So it is going to turn out to be more vintage looking, but that's okay. I kind of wanted kind of a, a vintage style to go with the picture today. And if you saw me switch hands, I am a bit ambidextrous, so I, I can use both hands. I am a lefty, but I do use my other hands. 
But as we're studying this verse, um, I love that God fills us with his joy and his peace every day of the year. It's not just during Christmas. I honestly was asked a question at Bible study, and I had to answer truthfully. She said, do you feel God's presence more or less during the Christmas season? And I had to answer, and I said, it's about the same, honestly, because the past year or so, I have felt God's presence so strongly. And, you know, it's just, it's just been a wonderful adventure with him. And, you know, it's just totally different than what I've experienced in years past. I'm like, it's probably going to be about the same because I just feel God every single day almost. So I think her, my answer kind of, not necessarily stunned her, but was like, hmm, because, you know, probably most people feel stronger during the Christmas season, which be hope, but I honestly feel the same because I really just love to get closer with God and it's just spending time with Him every single day. It just helps me to enjoy time spent with him okay so i think that's good enough because we're going to layer some other fun stuff on top of this as well all right so let's go ahead and add our bird on there okay i have some double-sided tape double-sided tape is my friend because <laughs> it's a lot easier than glue so I'm just going to put a couple of pieces on this cute picture here. And then we're going to add it on here. Put it at an angle as best we can. There we go. And we're going to add some fun stuff into it. Like I think we're going to add some lace into our project. I don't normally add lace, but I thought lace would be a fun thing or maybe some ribbon or both. <laughs> so I have this lace here, which I don't use. I cut off the thing so it doesn't lay strange or anything, but I think we're gonna lay some lace over the bird. I think that's, that'll be a nice touch. So let's go ahead and cut some of this off. I'm kind of thinking on the fly as we go because I really didn't have a big idea for this page. I know I wanted to do a favorite photo, but I just kind of wanted to just Go with the flow, make this as easy as possible, and just have fun with it, you know? And sometimes that's the way journaling goes. You don't really have a huge plan involved with journaling. Sometimes it's just finding a verse, and then once you start journaling, then you get into like the, the whole, what I wanna do on the page. Like sometimes you don't have an idea, and I'm the first one to admit that. Sometimes I don't have like a whole idea unless I get right into it so and that's totally totally fine so I don't know if I'm going to be using double-sided tape but I also don't have E6000 because if you remember in one of my recent videos it exploded on me so let's try double-sided tape and see how that works it could work I'm wondering if nope it's not sticky on the other side so yay okay so this could work I'm actually kind of happy about this. Yeah, okay. Well, it is a little sticky, but you know what? It's only sticky on that one spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer something else on top of it. So double-sided tape did work on my lace. Not as well as I hoped, but it did work to leave it on there. And it's not sticky except for this one little spot. And that's almost gone too, so. Apparently it worked out okay, so. First time trying that. Okay, let's see what else we can put on here. I do have some stamping, which we will do to put the verse in here. Um, let me see what else I can find really quick. Okay, so I found a couple of cute little tags and stickers here. Um, I got this in a junk journaling group, which just has a cute little picture of a woman in there. And I thought this would be just cute because it matched the picture. And I thought because it says beauty fair, you know, God gives us love and joy and everything around us. So I thought this would be really cute to add to our things. I'm going to make a cute little pocket for our page here. Okay, so I found this cute little envelope that somebody gifted me with. And I'm just going to stick this into my journaling page. So that way we have a cute little journaling card where we can put a favorite verse or something that God tells us 
as we read his word and we can just have a little note page here. So I'm just gonna lift the bird just a little bit. Just gonna put it right down here and I can still lift this up to read underneath if I wanted to. I don't have to because I don't use this for for reading my Bible because it's just, it's too small, the wording in here. And I have another Bible that I use for journaling and for reading, so. But I can still lift this up and read the words if I wanted to. It is stuck a little bit, but I can still, I can still read most of it. Yeah, I can still read it, okay. <laughs> We're good. Okay, so then I'm gonna stick this in here as a journaling card. And this can just be sticking out of here, like so. And you can do this with anything. You don't have to make a journaling card. You just have it in there. So I thought that was a really cute thing. And I'm gonna also, I thought about using these flowers. But I have a feeling they're not, they're probably gonna stick out quite a bit, if you think about it. But I'm still gonna use the flowers. They're gonna be kind of a chunky monkey. <laughs> when I'm done with this Bible, but you know what? We're still gonna use it. I like the, the look and the use of the flowers. I think the double-sided tape worked. Yep, it did, okay. So I didn't know if the double-sided tape would work on these, but apparently it, it does for the most part. And because this Bible stays mostly on my shelf, except for journaling-wise, I think we'll be okay. Here we go. All right, so I think two's good enough. I might do a third one. Let's see, let's put the third one somewhere. Where's that other flower? Like I have another one and then I completely lost it. I've also lost my mind. <laughs> the holiday season has just been so tiring and so busy lately that I have no clue where I put my brain anywhere. There we go. And I may end up using a 6,000 just a little later so that way all the flowers will stick there forever. I just don't have E6000 at the moment, but for now, they're stuck on there. Nice and neat and good. All right, so let's go ahead and put some words down. Now I saw this, which I haven't used yet. Sorry, it's gold foiled stickers. And I'm wondering if they have peace in here. I see prayer. So I'm wondering if I could do something in here that would work for the verse. Okay, I'm gonna use a mix of these. So I have, I thought there would be a peace sticker in here, but apparently there isn't. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. I'm like, hmm, there is no peace in here. I mean, it's, well, there's a small piece in here. But I wanted a big piece. Ah, don't stick to anything. Okay, so I'm doing the God. And these are stickers. I got these from, um, Tuesday morning. I love these. So I'm going to do God is. God is joy. I know joy is in a big one. God is joy. I don't think there's an and either. I'm not mistaken. I'll have to use the other stickers for that. Yep, there's no and, which I found very weird too, because I have all the other stickers, but no and. Okay, well, we're gonna have to spell that out with our gold stickers, which I'm totally fine with. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So I like how this page is turning out. I just wanna do something just based on the peace and love that God gives us, and I was gonna put the whole verse down, but I thought not all of it's gonna fit, and you know that God fills us with joy and peace. So I really just wanted to emphasize that by saying that God is joy and peace. And without him, we wouldn't have joy or peace. So I really wanted to do something with that. I'm gonna turn this sticker and put it over here. God is joy. And then we'll use the, the gold stickers to make our and. And thankfully I did find extra gold stickers. <laughs> Not like last time where I had to use a multitude of stickers. And I had to get more letter stickers because letter stickers I do use all the time. So I love them. Because sometimes stamping just takes too long. So you just want to have an easy way to do this. There we go. So I have my and. 
I think the Anne matches the gold foil stickers from the other set just fine. I'm not gonna worry about that. So then we'll find that small piece sticker, which we did see. And I lost it. It's like a crossword puzzle in here to find the word piece. <laughs> That's okay, we found it. Thank you, Lord, for helping me find it. So God is joy and peace. I know peace is a smaller sticker, but that's okay. So let's see if we can zoom in really quick and show you guys. I'm not done quite yet, but there it is. I'm sorry about the glare. But there is God is joy and peace. I think that's really cute. So let's go ahead and add just a few more stickers into here. Now, I actually wanted to put a G for God. I was thinking about doing K, but I believe I used a K for somebody else's thing that I made. So K is my initial, but we're gonna go with a G for God instead. So let's see where we wanna put this. All right, let's see here. I kinda wanted to show up, so I think I'm gonna put it right here here on the envelope of the sticker. So we have a giant bubble G right there. Then I have these really cute end stickers. I love these. I think these are so cool. I got these years ago. I don't remember where I got them. Probably Joann's, I'm thinking. But they just add a really pretty extra decor to pretty much anything. And it just creates this really cute end decal. Just lots of fun. So I hope you like this video. It's probably longer than I thought it was going to be. I kind of wanted all my videos to be just a little on the short side, but <laughs> that's okay. If you're here, I'm glad. And if you're journaling with me, I'm even more glad because hopefully I bring inspiration to you all and you guys can just have fun journaling together in God's word and just grow closer to God wherever you may be. Okay, that's not going to work there. Sorry, sticker. Okay. See, oh, we can do it this way. Um, this way. No, that, that would look funny. Never mind. <laughs> the poor brain just is not thinking properly. It's okay. We'll just use one. We can even do one over in this corner of the actual page. I think that would be really cute and kind of bring it in. Oops. I had two pages together. Yeah, make sure when you're journaling, make sure you don't have two pages together. I haven't done that really yet, but apparently at that point I did, so. I like that there. We'll just have a little corner page. I think that's about it. I was gonna use stamping, but you know what? I don't think we're gonna use stamps today. I use stamps quite often. I just think just having fun and just a regular stamping. So let's see here. I just thought these were really cute stickers, so let's see if we can find something that would we'll just add like an extra little, I like this sticker, this thankful with the gold foil. I think that would be really cute to add to our lace section right there, the part that we thought was a little sticky. So just having that little extra sticker there, I think that'll create just a little extra fun. We could do a butterfly which we just accidentally ripped, but yeah, I think we will. We'll put a, oops, a butterfly right in the corner there just to have an extra little funness to it. I probably will use some E6000 glue for the bows as soon as I get some from Walmart again. We could use one of these really pretty gold foiled lettering heads. Let's see what color we want to use. Probably just plain gold. And then we can put this here and we could put, you could put your name on here. You could do whatever you wanted to. I'm just gonna put it right here in the center there. And you can write whatever you want down. I don't know what I wanna write down yet, but it'll be something. <laughs> but you can even just leave that blank if you wanted to, just to have an extra decor. That's whatever's up to you. See what else we have. There are some cute stickers in here, which I just really, really like these a lot. Maybe let's put a my heart is full, because it is, my heart is full. So I just wanna layer that next to the other sticker. 
just to have a cute little extra layer in the corner there. Oh, there's really cute stickers here. Blessed. You know what? I think I want to switch this out. Take this off, and we're going to put something else down. Let's see where did this go? This one here. But I had a better idea, which I like even more. We can save that sticker for another thing. So I'm just going to put one of these cute, fun words on here, which I thought were really cute. So I want to put blessed. I think blessed or journey would be really good here, but I think blessed. And I actually like journey. Because our journey with the Lord is very important. Every day we need to just get closer and closer and closer with the Lord. So I really like that. I may end up layering over the bird a little. Like right in the corner here. There we go. I like that there. Just a little added extra fun. Let's see what else we have. I know now I'm now I'm getting stuck in sticker world. <laughs> But I really, I really do like this verse a lot. Like just, just knowing that God loves me every single day. It just makes me so happy. So many, so many times that God just loves me so much. Let's see, I'm gonna do one of these gold sticker ones. I'm gonna do thankful heart. I think I'm going to take off this G sticker and we're going to put this down first. Thankful heart and then we can put the G back up on top. I just didn't want the G to get in the way. There we go. Thankful heart. We've got some more butterfly stickers. I love butterfly stickers. Sorry this video may be a tad on the long side but I just wanted to make a fun page for you all today and just start off the Christmas journaling with a lot of fun. I think this is a fun page. It's not necessarily too Christmassy. It'll be a mixture of Christmas and just regular journaling this, these next two weeks. So that way you get a nice mixture and it's not all Christmas because that way in case you get tired of Christmas journaling, then you can have a mixture. Well, I think that's it. I think we're good. Okay. So that was the page that I used. I will try to link down as much of everything that I used in this video down in the description box below, such as my Bible, the stickers that I used, and the, um, and the other word stickers up here. So that way you guys can check them out for yourselves. I'm sorry that I don't have links to like, well, I mean, you could buy my photograph if you wanted to, but um, here it is. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you wanted to, you could replace this with another journaling card if you wanted to. That's what I like about these is if you get tired of that one or you find a better spot for it, you can just hand that out. So again, this page was for Romans uh, chapter 15 verse 13. So now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I just thought this was a really beautiful page. We did quite a bit of layering today. It turned out really cute. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Merry Christmas to all of you and I'm so excited for day two tomorrow of our 12 days of Bible journaling. So cannot wait to see you then. I hope to see you then and have a wonderful, blessed, Merry Christmas and I will see you all in the next video.